I'm gonna play Conqueror's Blade, but free to play for 24 hours and see how we get on, see how far we get and see what we can do without spending any money. No sovereigns will not be visiting this shop once. And we will find out, is this game pay to win or is it pay to progress fast? So let's buckle up, let's make a character and let's get into this. Okay, and we're away. Like any good journey, we need to start with making our character. Now we're gonna try a few different things here. We're looking at the new and classic, but I think we're gonna go for the new ones. The new ones feel much more kind of grizzled and have frown lines and stuff. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna make this guy, got a little, uh, yeah, we'll go for that. Time to choose the hair. Let's go for something, not a top knot. Let's go for some like slick back, a little slick back hair. I think that'll probably, that'll probably do. That'll probably do, I like the look of that. Looking very suave, very, very suave indeed. Moving on, eyebrows, the eyebrow slit and now, I don't know why they do lip color in these things, but let's just go with it. Right, let's go for some rosy red lips. Lovely little kissing lips there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Facial hair, hmm. Do we give him facial hair? I, I think I want the lips to stand out. We'll leave them and uh, yeah, we'll just go for lips. Nice, look at those. Plush and red. Beautiful. Um, now, tattoos, scars. Um, hmm. It looks too cool. With his lips, he needs to not look so good. No. I mean, that does accentuate them, but no. We'll go to, maybe maybe we'll like outline his eyes. I like that, make him, you know, a little bit something else. Uh, yes, the Urukai sort of looking one, that's always nice. Yeah, I think the kind of Batman eyes will sort of work with him. And now onto the armor, I don't know why they do this because you, you can't really get the armor anyway. Like, especially not us, because we're free to play. And now we'll just make the name Plum Free. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And we go into a cutscene that I haven't seen these cutscenes for a little while now. So we've got them in here. Uh, these are obviously the, just the new starting level cutscenes. That uh, oh, looks pretty cool. Makes you feel like you're about to do a big storyline. But unfortunately... You're not. I mean, maybe a new hero will arise, but because we're going to be free to play, I mean, we're going to see if you can compete free to play. So we'll just kill these horses. We're going to go in this room, and there's the boss. This is this whole storyline with the uh, with that cutscene. This guy has been killing a lot of people, so we'll just slice him down. On a side note, I don't know why they make you all go glaive now to start off with. I thought I liked this when I last looked at this, but actually, I prefer the old system where you just get to choose a weapon. Maybe just, like, cancel out bows and stuff like that straight away, like, in terms of, don't let you do it. And then into a lovely Conqueror City um, cutscene that I hadn't seen before, I don't think. I don't think. And now we get into the nitty-gritty, into our first quest. Lovely. Oh, they're giving me Mace Sergeant straight away, and this is important. We're going to enter our first battle straight away, and we know this is against bots, but eventually, you know, eventually we're going to get to a point where we're against um, people, hopefully. Are you sure about that? Into the fight, slice it up, feel like a god. You know, you, if you're a new player to this, you are right now feeling like a god. And obviously, any sort of paying is not really going to help at this stage. They're bots, they'll die really, really easily. They'll just basically stand there. Mace Sergeants also, now they give you Mace Sergeants. Like, Mace Sergeants are so good. Like, so good at this level. Like, with this, they're even good in, in big sieges, especially when you mastery them out. So, we're just going to smash up a few of these bots here. Swing around. Be a general god. 80 kills before we've even the first one. I mean, come on. And then we get straight to the end. Kill this guy. Kill that guy. 
And uh, that will be the end for this. He's dead. Lovely. Victory. First. Lovely. On to handing in the quest. Look. Oh, beautiful. We get a new weapon. That's very, very, very exciting. Okay, let's grab that. We'll level up our May Sergeant's idea. My plan is to make May Sergeant's my powerful unit. Just continue to level them. So we're going to enter the path of war. This is going to give us a few nice things. We're just going to run around, slash archers, you know, a bit of an arc of steel, smash around, bring in the uh, things, train with some cav, uh, with some um, pikes. Nothing major. Look at that. Look at that setup. Shields and pikes. Beautiful. Moving on. I uh, wonder if I die to this. Yeah, okay, you can die to this. That is, we've got to be careful with that. Got to be careful. Um, anyway, another battle. In we go. On straight onto B. We're going to skip through the first bit because these are long. Charge our mace sergeants in. We basically only need to use our mace sergeants because they're so strong in comparison to other units until we level them. So this is what we're doing. We're leveling them to full. And we're going to mastery them to full. We're just going to smash this on home point. Don't even bother about the other stuff. And just get this out of the way. I'll X them over there and just let them kill. They don't need me. Those little champions can do their own thing. And again with another level. Let's just continue to pump these guys to full. We haven't even done much at the moment and we're already filling them out. They forced me to get perfection pikes. That is uh, a bit annoying. But, um, yeah, I didn't really want them. And we get some lovely unit medals that we're going to use. And then we're going to give our mace sergeants some more things. So now we're getting some powerful mace sergeants. We're getting some very powerful mace sergeants. We're going to keep a clean house. We're going to salvage everything that we just uh, we take off and replace. So we're going to get rid of that. Now that we have replaced it with, um, with, a, with a set they gave us. Uh, and slash this guy. He's coming out. May sergeants will eat him breakfast and then we'll eat his peasants. Move up to this point again. Let's flatten everybody and, you know, easy stuff. The plan, obviously, May sergeants, we're going to mastery them. This is what I do if you're a new player, free to play or paying a bit to play. But the main goal is obviously to find out if it, you get a good advantage. Victory. Easy stuff. MVP again. Into path of war. Shoot with the uh, with the catapult. Shoot again. Let's cause some war crimes. Mmm, delicious. Go here. Flap around a bit. Charge them into these shields. Beautiful stuff. Little swing, swing, swing. Slash, slash, slash. And now we're gonna watch. Charge these over here while Cav goes extremely fast past us and kills everything. Lovely little train of calf there beautiful not letting me do anything hand in the quest grab a new box of weapons lovely now important stage i don't want to be a glaive i want to be a nadachi i think so we'll have a little look through the weapons i had a few choices a few things in mind but i did end up settling on the nadachi i think it was the way to go so we're going to use our skill points and just unlock the Nadachi. Uh, I think it's a good idea because of the healing, but we did have a look at other things, but in the end, settled on the Nadachi. We're going to put a few of these points in, probably fearless and steadfast. Then we're going to pick up the Nadachi from the box we got. Beautiful. But unfortunately, when I click it, I do not have the right armor. And that was annoying. But then luckily I was like, huh, I wonder what this quest is. So I go over to the quest and oh, wouldn't you know, it's some armor. Beautiful. Perfect timing. And then I saw that it looked like a Nadachi. And I was like, huh? And then I read it, and it had armor in it. And I don't know why they don't show this as light, heavy, medium armor. And then just give you the weapons to go with it. But nonetheless, you click on it, it gives you the full set. That's fine. I mean, it's fine. We're going to get rid of everything that I was wearing before. And that's going to give us some lovely resources ready to make some gear in the future. That is what we were going for. Moving on, another bot game. Sort of annoying at this point. I was hoping we could get half and half soon. But we're going to go in. We're now Dadachi, so AoE madness. Suckling the health. 
you a pure suckling. Uh, really nice. This is this is what I'd advise if you are a new player. This is just one way to make it easy mode. Nadachi slashing around, healing, and it's kind of difficult to die sometimes. I do die. I do die. Spoiler alert. But you put your mace sergeants in as well. You start working on those. You go Nadachi, and it is it is easy mode. Just pick up this guy, pick up that guy. Easy slap. These And basically the bots just stand there. It's kind of embarrassing. They really need to work on their bots. Their bots need to act. If they're going to put bots in, you need them to be doing something. I know this is very early stage, but still. Obviously a victory. MVP. Hand in some weekly quests that we finally got so we can hand these in. Uh, and keep in mind, when you're seeing this, we're also doing... Um, other battles I'm just showing you some uh, moving on we now unlock the victory pass beautiful so we're gonna have a little look around we just get all these and uh, this is their new thing that they do that they have now instead of the f4 that this is our first thing that you can pay for it's the first thing you can pay for but nay we are not paying in this with this our free to play we're on the free to play grind so yeah, but the bottom line of this, the free pass thing, still has decent rewards, like really decent rewards, lots of honor, we still have a sign-in daily thing that, you know, gives us prefecture archers, gives us a, um, an epic mount, it's, it's insane, it's really good, um, so that's good rewards, we're gonna unlock halberdiers, because halberdiers are awesome, best blue unit, apart from mace sergeants, or maybe even better than mace sergeants, I don't know, we'll grab this skill here, and this is the first time we can use the shop, but we are not using it. We'll take our free reward. I was having a look at the uh, the new beginnings, um, but and the atars, and having a look around, you know, general general curiosity, and we'll grab a little reward. And moving on, we are back in a siege, slashing about again, mace sergeant slapping things up. Um, this is going to become a bit of a trend. Um, because at the start stages, there's not really much to do. There's not really any competitivity because we're just waiting to get some players in our game and actually fight against some real people that I was, at this stage, very excited for. Very excited. I do get run over by these Perfection, um, perfection Guards. They, they, they actually, the bots know how to use drill mode. That um, was uh, intriguing. I didn't think they would know how to do it, but... We have a slash, we try and uh, try and slash them around a bit, but we almost die, so we're going to do a little run, a little trick around the back here, jump on the wall, and we're up on the roof. And now they can't get us, that's that's it for them. And uh, I'm looking over here, I'm like, oh, first treb. Well, not first treb, but first treb you guys are going to see. And we're going to try and land it on there, and here it comes. Very exciting, and I mean, we hit some. We get an artillery piece. Get a few kills. It's not it's not like a god tier treb, but it was all right. Uh, moving on to more slashing about. We're playing with the halberdiers now that are doing jobs. And if you're a new player, halberdiers, mace sergeants, halberdiers should be your two blue units. If you're yeah, if you want the best, and obviously a victory and a little MVP. Uh, now we've got the supply tokens. I made a video on the supply tokens. So we, now you can just basically pick rewards and progress your character way beyond where it should normally be at this point. That's lovely. Uh, we're going to go to the Apothecary, grab ourselves our weekly 30 powdered silver and 60 steel ingots and 60 rolled leather. Um, although I didn't get it in that clip, but we do get them. And then figure out I can't craft until 35. So that was annoying. But uh, you know what that means? More Path of War. I thought it meant more Siege, but more Path of War. Uh, these give quite good rewards and quite high honor and stuff. So it wants me to kill these um, these stalwarts. So we just end up just going around the back of them and flattening them. Um, as I said, Mace Sergeants. The fact they give you Mace Sergeants now uh, straight away and basically uh, help you get fully mastered with them, it's really nice. It is really nice. Solid unit. Uh... And then I noticed there is this little thing where they just give you units. So we're going to commit some war crimes. We're going to take the Zykalian Militia that isn't mine. I don't own it, but we can just use it because they let us use it. Um, so we're going to come up here, bring them in, and we're going to just get a nice little angle. We're still against bots, so they should all be lovely and stacked up on the point there. 
And we're just going to go for a nice little throw and see, uh, see if they can arc it over. Oh, yes. Lovely war crimes. And again, we're going to go there. I see a lovely big block of uh, iron cap shields. I'm going to go for that. Oh, yes. Delicious. Delicious burning. And then we'll just come down here and lob them at face. Uh, right in their faces. Uh, and then they take an interesting path to leave to go get resupplied. So, danger. They love a bit of danger. Fight these bots. Get a 1, 2, 3. You know, very impressive stuff. Really, really impressive. Stab that one down. Little slicey slice. Fearless is so fast. Into a slash, slash, and dead. Oh, look at that triple. Um, get the victory. Of course, MVP. Another level, and we unlock the uh, the seasonal unlocks. That is uh, seasonal units. So we're having a little uh, look through this. We're gonna we're picking. I'm a lot of deliberating which is the best one these days to do. Um, and I kind of settle on the fact that I'm going to go for uh, the Marmalades, the Roman Shields. That is an interesting one, but I feel like those are good counters to every, everything. So at this point, we're going for the Marmalade Shields, but we do change our minds. Uh, then we enter in back in the siege, and I see my first player. I'm like, good God, this is it. We've got our first player. There they are. Uh, just two of us. That's fine. I was expecting to see two other players on the other team, but no. Just us two versus bots. That's kind of irritating because I was hoping to fight some real players at this point, even if they just split us up. But nonetheless, we get back into some stabby stab, some slashy slash. And uh, as you can see, Nadachi obviously is the live lord. We are live lording, slash slash slash, and we get the victory. Look at that lovely MVP. And I don't know what this player was doing, but he got beaten by bots. So, you know, new, new player there. There's the difference. And into another game. And look at this. A full stack of players where I was like, this is it. Very excited. Time to play against players. And then I look at this over here. And I'm like, wait, why have they fully stacked us with players and given us bots to fight against? Surely just split us in two. Like put five players on their team and five players on our team and the rest bots. So then at least we're playing against someone that is real. Uh, so going for a little treb on these guys, just to remove them from the point. Totally miss most of them, and they get one good hit. That's annoying. Um, I've got a renter unit. Got the uh, shotgun pikes, uh, and that. Yeah, I mean that's lovely. We'll just give them a little burn. Uh, but unfortunately, I totally, and I mean totally, underestimated one unit in this thing. That is uh, Fire Archers. I ran over thinking I was a Live Lord and ended up getting myself killed. That is not ideal. Not ideal. But then we get in and we start spawn camping the bots because now we're all real players. Basically, the bots are totally outnumbered because normally it's just one player against the bots, but obviously, when you stack a full load of players, you just win easily. And we score the victory and the MVP. And then we start unlocking our weekly challenges, clicking them, and we're going up in the battle pass. Obviously, free battle pass, but we're going to grab it. We get our first key, silver key. We're going to get a bit of an attire. Oh, here we go. Right on the bucks. First click. And what do you know? We get an epic, and it is a oh lovely, God. lovely purple glove. No. Look at these. We go straight into it. Exciting stuff. Mmm. Delicious. Look at that, gentlemen. Look at that. And uh, then I decide to change because I'm like, oh, yeah, we can play Maul. So we um, we changed to the Maul to start unlocking this and see what we can do. Uh, just for the future, you know, Maul might be the best choice for us to go. We might as well get it unlocked while we're playing against bots. Um, so we changed some gear up and we, uh, we put a Maul on. And I was wondering why I didn't have any skill points because we usually, you would get skill points early doors but they haven't given to me yet so hey it doesn't no, matter God. i was looking how much it cost to completely unlock no, more God, and it's like please, four thousand no, sovereigns no. that uh no. yeah that's no. nuts um so but that's not us we're gonna unlock it and see how fast you can unlock it and then we get obviously another siege where we're all real players and they're all bots so that is getting rather irritating right now uh we get a nice little headshot 
We, uh, we go down here with our shotgun pikes, swing them all around a bit. Obviously it's mall, so we just destroy everything. But this is level one mall. We, we only have one ability to instant uh, do our things. I get killed again because I'm great at the game. And then we charge up, hit this, uh, this longsword bot, and we send it flying with a little uppercut, down a little slam, and then an uppercut. Boom, there it goes. Beautiful stuff. Um, but I must admit, at this point, I'm getting kind of irritated with playing against bots. But in first game, we unlock uh, a few challenges straight away. So Maul is really not that un hard to unlock. It does not take long. Um, and then uh, we go and hand this in. And we're starting our mastery with the Mace Sergeants. That is very exciting. Uh, very, very exciting and really quite easy. They throw these things at you and eventually you're fully mastered before you know it and you haven't had to do much really, just play. Um, that I would really highly advise. That's why I think you should have all your XP you get into Mace Sergeants so you can just smash them to max level. It's the way to go. Um, and then obviously next mastery is done super quick. And then we go into a mastery commander that for some reason I found... Uh, was really quite, um, yeah, it was actually quite tricky uh, as a uh, as a uh, new player or as a low-level character. So we're borrowing a lot of these units. We get the Palins in, we charge them in, interrupt that, suckle some health, try a bit of XVing, and uh, yeah, we'll just get these out of the way. Um, but unfortunately, I am relatively weak, so they die, and then I have to run away. But that's fine because we can get another unit. So we bring the claymores in to have a go at this. Bring them in for freedom. Swing around. Oh, yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, and then we're getting destroyed by the hero that I don't seem to be able to do any damage to. That is probably shouldn't be in the Mastery Commander at this point. But uh, it's fine. We'll just swing around a bit. Slash him up. Get the ult going. And then, unfortunately, my claymores die. So we have to run back out again. Um, yeah. But then we're back with the assassins. We bring the big boys. Jump them on. Cut them up. Swing around. Yeah, so we're just going to assassinate this guy. Should have done that in the first place. And there it is. It's only a 15 minute mastering. Mastery uh, commander victory. Hitting another siege. Full list of players. I was like, this is the one. We've now hit a good level. Surely they're going to put players on the other team. Surely. Or just split us. Split us up. Give us half bots. Nope. All bots still. And it, I'm getting super irritated this time, at this point. Because I've done a lot of games. And all the games are is when you're on defense. Is this. The players go outside. The units never get to the A. And everyone's just trying to farm kills. And it's boring. It's really, really boring. And, it, yeah. and then a player kills my entire units. With the uh, Divine Crow. So I was irritated. I jumped on the Divine Crow over here, and I was like trying to aim at him, but uh, no, no luck with that. Um, so have a little go, but wasn't going to happen. Still irritated, holding a grudge. So we just uh, we just kill his Divine Crow, and then we take our own Divine Crow and start causing war crimes on the bots. That. Uh, I mean, it's great, but this is how every game goes. Everyone goes outside. Uh, it's much nicer being on attack, because at least you feel like you have a goal. But we get the Condors, little unlock there. We we level the Mace Sergeants, little Vectancy line there. And we finally get some uh, attribute points that's nice. So we're just going to shove those all in strength. Um, nice, easily done. Moving on. Uh, slowly, but I was excited at this point. We're going to probably add some skills in a minute. And then back into another siege where we are again on defense. So I'm going to have to go outside and just farm. And it is boring. I mean, when I say boring, look, all players, all bots. I, I was going slightly insane at this point, I must admit. And I don't know how you do it as a new player. I don't know how you do it. But we made progress in the victory pass. We got MVP. Whatever. We're going to click this. We're going to get our rewards from the victory pass. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Nice bit of uh, unit medals and stuff like that. So that's always good. Helping us advance onwards. Uh, and some more unit medals. Oh, delicious. 
um, that if we use those, that should allow us to potentially get another level with um, with our mace sergeants. We also get a lot of uh, artificial stones at the moment, and we get level nine on the battle pass that uh, we're moving along swiftly. And exciting stage now. Obviously, we get to craft some armor. So we're going to craft our first armor straight away. We're going to get the uh, Carnifax set, obviously, for the Nadachi. Having a look around, we're going to get the um, the helmet and the chest, because that's all we can get at the moment. Uh, but I'll take it. I will take it. And then we're going to unlock Pavis. Well, get a challenge done on Pavis. That's nice. Uh, we're going to go to the, the uh, seasonal store and grab ourselves another schematic so we can make boots as well so we've got three set now that's lovely um easily done straight away if you know what you're doing and then we use these martis in sort of a e much easier uh mastery commander so it's not uh it's not the same one it's more of a like path of war one so that's yeah so we don't have the same problems as we had with the one that's on the um on the sort of sign up button but yeah, we use these, we get uh, get a few charges off, you know, slash him up a bit. And much of the same, gentlemen, much of the same. Just working ourselves away. We haven't spent a single Sovereign yet. And, uh, yeah, getting bored of Sieges, getting bored of leveling. Uh, and just want to play against some real players. Even if it is just five a side with bots. Uh, but we get a lovely attire that we're not going to wear. Uh, and we can unlock a few units. So we are going to take... We're like, at this point, I'm sort of thinking about it, and I didn't realize how much honor I had saved up because I hadn't been looking at this list for a long time. So uh, I was thinking men at arms, but then I'd have to go down the path and unlock squires and that sort of thing. So I was like, no, let's go for, I was looking at palace guards potentially. Uh, and then I kind of settled between halberdiers and imperial uh, spear guard. Decided on imperial spear guard just because you can roam with them, put them on cover commander, they give you a uh, 27. Uh, percent damage reduction uh, or damage taken uh, and then we also get halberdiers as well so we get both of them there's lovely and then we enter a little siege but again the siege and this has been happening a lot like I, there's a lot of sieges you don't see here in between and every game i'm on defense i have to roam out kill stuff and there's no players and all the players are on my team so everyone has to do has to does the same. We're all fighting for these bot kills. That is, like at this point, I'm going slightly insane, like insane. And I've been I, at this point, I've been playing for maybe like 15 hours or so, not in one stint, but over a certain amount of time. Um, so yeah, we're just plucking away with this and. Uh, killing and using these guys as just a huge bodyguard granted the units that the bots are bringing have definitely improved but the bots haven't improved and i just want to see players i want to see players but anyway we get the win and at this point i'm getting mad and i'm getting angry and i'm going into madness The utter ridiculousness of this being all that we are all players and they are all bots split us up for God's sake. It is so boring. It is so dull. So at this point, I've done so many games. I'm, I'm, I've lost, I've lost my mind with it. Uh, and yes, the question that we were going for that is, can you play this game for free and compete? Yes, you can. You get given a lot of things. Yeah. It's pay to progress fast, but you can get everything. Most of the most powerful units are um, are from the honor tree. So, yeah, with the mastery system, it's definitely helped with that. And 90% of this game comes down to knowing what to do against certain units and how to fight against players. That brings me to the main issue of the whole of Conqueror's Blade at the moment is the new player experience is terrible. You need, and I mean need, to split the players into two teams and just fill the rest of the spaces with bots so at least they have some experience against fighting against real players. 
because there is no way when you hit 200 and you get shoved into this bracket you are going to have the biggest shock of your life. You're going to get slapped in the face and run over because you have no idea how to fight against any sort of real unit being played by a real player. Um, so we set out to see if you could play Conqueror's Blade free to play. And yes, you can. But it has brought up the other issue that we have just talked about. So it's time to go. It's time to end it all. I am done with this whole video this whole challenge because i was so annoyed at this point i cannot fight another bot so we're going to end it all in all seriousness i want to thank everyone for watching if you made it this far take care and i'll see you in the next one